Hello guys! Today's video is all about my collection of red lipsticks, so if you're interested, let's get started! The first one is by Rimmel. This is the classic lipstick, as you all know it, which is actually not my favorite type of lipstick, but I bought it some somewhere in duty free, so I was like, well, let's give it a try. But let me tell you, I wore it maybe once or twice on the flight. It takes a bit of too much time, in my opinion, to make sharp edges and stuff like that. But yeah. The next one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and let me tell you, this is one of the best liquid lipsticks I've ever used. Um, really super easy to apply, very fast, you don't have to spend hours, you know, just perfecting those sharp edges, it just goes on so smoothly, doesn't dry out your lips, it's really rich, the color is just amazing, just the perfect color. This lipstick is also by Rimmel and this lipstick has a story because once I had to use a nail polish remover to get it out of my lips. Yeah, I didn't even know if I'm gonna include it in this video or not, uh, but I just love the color, I love the pigment, I really do love the finish of the lipstick, but the struggle to remove it is real. So. I've used it once and ever since. <laughs> My second time was the video that you're seeing right now. Next one, Wet and Wild. I picked this one up just, you know, randomly. I was shopping somewhere in Dubai and this was there in the middle of a bookstore and I was like, ooh, let me try. And actually, this is one of the greatest lipsticks. Um, very affordable, I think. Um, it has a great color, really nice matte finish and it gives you really nice sharp edges, which I love. Um, so overall, yeah, definitely one of my favorite lipsticks. one by Bourjois is probably my favorite drugstore lipstick, uh, or at least one of them. Uh, very affordable, it's super lightweight, it doesn't really feel like you're wearing a lipstick, but it still gives you a really nice color. Um, here in the video it looks a bit too light, but that's just because the one I'm using here is a bit too old, so I need to grab a new one. But yeah, really nice lipstick, feels really soft and smells really good too. Now, this one by Essence, very similar to the Bourjois lipstick, so uh, as you can see this one's almost finished and empty, I've used it a lot. It doesn't give you that full, full red color, the so pigmented color, but it gives you really nice sheer coverage, I would say. So it looks really like a healthy red lip look. So, you know, some days you just feel like something a bit lighter. Um, this is a good one and very affordable. by Maybelline. I don't even know what is it doing here in this video but it was in my drawer so I was like let's just put it on. Um, it it goes on really really bad. Um, I probably used it once on a flight. I can't even remember. Obviously this was not um, my favorite lipstick. It's really hard like it's kind of like a gel formula. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's just pain in the <laughs> to put it on. Next one is by Revlon. Uh, this is one of those like crayons or lip pencils or how do you call them? Um, this is quite a good one, but I just don't tend to use it a lot. 
I find it very difficult to make very sharp edges with this one and it kind of smudges a lot uh, throughout the day so it's a really nice one it smells very nice it smells minty but just not my favorite to be honest this one you guys <laughs> this is a lipstick I picked in Lidl I don't know if you know about this grocery store in Europe and the UK um, I just wanted to give it a go it was probably like one or two euros um, it's not bad it's very glossy it's very shiny a very light coverage so probably not your Emirates kind of lipstick but maybe just for a day-to-day -day wear um, it looks okay for the money I mean good experiment <laughs> next one is by Borja as well but this one I believe I picked up by mistake I actually thought that this is gonna be a matte finish lipstick and it ended up being glossy lipstick um, I am not a fan at all this one gives you super light kind of coverage it doesn't really sink into the lips it kind of stays on top it's very hard to work with it um, and it just it doesn't stay on at all but it looks nice <laughs> all right Sephora number one this lipstick doesn't need much comment this is the first lipstick I bought when I first moved into Dubai I used to wear this one a lot before I discovered all the other lipsticks too it's a great one the color is great it stays on it's full kind of pigment you know it just it's just a good one <laughs> it's a bit drying on the lips sometimes but I mean who cares <laughs> now the tart the lip paint this smells so good this feels like um, like a satin or some piece of fabric on your lips it's super interesting formula um, I don't even know how to describe it it's really really soft super nice matte finish it doesn't dry your lips at all uh, I just feel like you need to reapply it a bit more than the other lipsticks but I do like this one a lot and the last one is by Urban Decay um, this is actually not uh, my favorite lipstick but if I was really into gloss this would be my favorite glossy lipstick um, the color is super amazing it's really pigmented uh, it's just that it's shiny I'm not a really glossy girl I prefer more matte finish of a lipstick so I don't usually go to you know I don't usually grab this one as my first choice but I do really like it all right guys that is it for today's video thank you for watching um, have a lovely Christmas and holidays and I'll see you soon bye Oh, and if you're interested, these are all the products that I've used today to create this makeup look.